Hey guys, it's Gabby from A Beautiful 20-Something Life. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a subscription service called Amoda Tea. And I believe Amoda Tea is based out of Vancouver. I know their shipping address is in Vancouver, BC. Um, I believe that they are based in Canada. Um, Amoda Tea is a cool subscription service for all of those tea lovers out there, which includes myself. Um, each month they send you a tea tasting box, um, which includes a variety of different teas from different brewers all over the world. Um, so you're not just receiving um, tea from one specific country or area of the world, but you really get to taste all sorts of cool teas. Um, and then in addition to the teas you receive, you will receive a taste, a little tasting guide that tells you about the different teas that you got in that month's box. Um, so Amoda Tea, it's $15 a month and that includes shipping. Um, I believe if you subscribe to more months at one time, you will save money on your subscription. So if it's something that interests you, you might want to sign up for a few more months to begin with. Um, so let's just dig into the box. I'm excited to see what kind of teas I got after been in... After being in France for a year, I didn't really drink a lot of tea before, but now I love it. So I'm super excited to check it out. Um, so the box came. I liked it. It was really minimal minimal packaging. Um, it's it's thin. I mean, it's just streamlined, so they're not wasting a lot of packaging. And you guys know I'm kind of... That makes me happy. We'll crack this baby open here. So really gorgeous inside. I love the packaging. This reminds me of a delicious cup of tea, just looking at the packaging and the nice little twine there. Um, and here it says Amoda Tea July Tea Tasting Box. Um, it's summer, so we opted for light blends that taste great, hot, and iced. Not to mention these selections will help you to relax, chill out, and enjoy the summer. Um, to add flavoring, flavoring or not to add flavoring? No flavoring here. So here it says July's featured blender is Indie Tea, which is a family-owned business with a lot of personality. Um, let's see here. They are, does not see, I don't believe, where they are based out of, but I'll post a little more information um, on this post in my blog post once I've had a chance to read a little bit about their company. Um, and then it looks like, yep, for each of the three different tea selections that we'll be trying, um, it tells us a little bit about each of them. I'm going to open this up here. So then here is a nice glance. Oh gosh, that looks tasty. Inside of the box, and you can see the little packets there. One of them was face up, which you can tell this is the real deal. Um, we're not getting any crappy little um, fake tea packets. This stuff is real. So Indie Tea is based in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is cool. Um, so this first tea I see is Lover's Lane, and it is gentle, floral, soft and round, light citrus notes, soothing lavender, and sweet rose. Yes, please. The Dragonwell Green Tea is a balance of savory and sweet, a lovely, refreshing, smooth, sweet, delicate cup. So here you can see the package on the front, and then this is a nice, um, looks, you can actually even see the lavender in there. So this is genuine. This is how you make real tea, I think. I mean... I'm impressed. Um, I am becoming a little bit more of a tea snob, so I'm really excited to try some from some really unique quality blenders. Um, and it says 1.5 teaspoons per 8 ounce cup, so you really don't need that much. That's definitely going to brew quite a few cups. Next type of tea is the Road to Hana, which is a flavored white tea, um, a China tea. It says the sub... 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 okay. It's subtle, I don't know how to say it, subtlety, subtlety, of the added flavors is what we love about this tea. The white peony is the star with its delicate hay fruit and floral aromas. Um, this is a medium caffeine, so I didn't mention that this, it says on the bottom, there's a little guide you can see right there that is light caffeine. And then this tea, you can probably see down, oh, we'll get that to focus, down there as well, that's medium caffeine. So that sounds really tasty, and I love all the big chunks in there. I feel like that's going to be really tasty. Um, and then lastly, this is Poppy Fields. It says, it tastes like jujubes, a sweet aroma of berries, apple, and chamomile, slightly sweet on the tongue, lightly minty with a tart finish. This tea is very full-bodied and rich. Sip this tea, and it will calm your body and relax your mind. Ah. I love their descriptions. I just think it's really cute when companies add in something a little to give them some personality. I think that's really cute. Um, and this is, let's see, you can see that's a, it's a little bit not separated, but it's a little more fine on the front here than it actually is. 
Um, and this is caffeine free, um, and you only need one teaspoon per eight ounce. So I like that they're giving us a guide because I really would have no idea. I'm not that much of a tea expert yet um, to know as far as, you know, how much each little bit of tea can make. Um, so here are the three bags that I received in my Emota tea box. And like I said, I really like their describing, I mean, you get a lot about the teas themselves, and not only that, but the blender that they have featured for that month. So that's cool. Again, a lot like a lot of the artists in boxes, I really appreciate the fact that these tea, this the Emota tea or these subscription companies, you know, they're going out, they're not just staying in their comfort zone, which is great for us because that means we get to try new products and new companies that we may have never heard of otherwise. Um... So I may even brew up a cup of this today because it is thundering outside, which is kind of sad in the middle of July, but um, never know with Seattle. So I may brew up a cup of one of these teas today, and I'll definitely let you guys know how they taste. Um, check out my blog post to get a little bit better idea about what about Indie Tea, um, the blender of the month, and just what I think about each of these teas. Um, and I'll also, of course, include the link if you'd like to subscribe to Emota Tea yourself. Um, definitely check out their website. Again, it's $15 a month, um, and you can save a bit of money if you subscribe to more months at one time. So thank you for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying it, all of my reviews. And um, definitely tune in tomorrow for my next box review. Thank you. Bye.